and welcome to The Horror Collector. I'm Terry M. West, also known as the hardest working horror author you have never heard of. This episode, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite collectibles. Actually, I've seldom ever talked about them before, so it's about time. I'm going to show you some of my favorite paperbacks from hell. Now, paperbacks from hell is a term that was coined by a uh, horror author extraordinaire, Grady Hendrix. He wrote the definitive book on horror paperbacks from the 70s and 80s. He's even reprinted some under his Paperbacks from Hell banner. I really recommend you go grab that guide. It's uh, Paperbacks from Hell. It's a beautiful photo book, but it's also good as like a guide when you're out in the wilds. There's over, I think, 560 books that he talks about. Those covers from paperbacks in the 70s and 80s were just really gruesome. They were like those drive-in posters for movies that may not have been that great, but man, made you want to go see them. So, so they kind of died out, and they sort of sat around, kind of uh, ignored for, for decades until Grady Hendrix kind of reintroduced us all to them. So before I go into my Paperback from Hell uh, copies, though, I want to talk to you about my own work. Um, a lot of my uh, paperback presentations are heavily influenced by Paperbacks from Hell. One of the most current uh, book series that I have out is called The Bowman. And that is most definitely a Paperback from Hell. Now, this is a trilogy. It's, uh, it's very gruesome. Uh, it's a uh, it's about a immortal cannibal that's cursed with a bite that never heals and every season he must consume human flesh of the living. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you a little quick uh, video uh, for that series. Book one and two are out now. Book three, which is the end of the trilogy, drops March 1st and they're all currently 99 cents. So a pause for the cause here. Uh, check out this video for the Bowman series. and I'm ready to show off some of my stuff. Uh, the first book I'm going to show off is, um, there's one author I have more paperbacks from hell than any other author, and that's John Russo. And I have a, a few, and there are a few I still need to get, but I'm going to show off some of my John Russo's. This one is called uh, Daycare, you know? And just the style of these covers, man, just really, really, really gruesome and cool. Okay, the next Russo that I have is Limb to Limb, which is kind of like a uh, kind of a uh, shiny uh, book cover there. Then this one is The Awakening, which is another eh, really man. The, I mean, the art for horror covers I don't think has been ever has ever been as good and solid as this time period, man. They were just <laughs> really cool. Return of the Living Dead. This is the original concept Russo intended, um, you know, for the for the sequel. When uh, O'Bannon bought it, he changed the entire concept, but I, I love that cover. One of the most uh, hardcore, brutal uh, zombie stories ever. I mean, this one's a tough read. That's all I have for Russo. I mean, on my want list is uh, Midnight, Blood Sisters, um, Majorettes, and Voodoo Dawn. This is one called Hellstone by Steven Spurl. This is an awesome Psycho 2. And I love these. Check it out. These gatefold covers where you get an image right there and then you open it up. And look at that, would you? Oh, man. I would love a poster. <laughs> okay, next one. 
which ha which also has the you know little uh, little gate cover um, it's called the Sentinel um, and when you open it up I mean isn't that that's crazy isn't it look at that art <laughs> that is nuts there was a writer named uh, Bill Kreider and I met him in Texas when I was a pretty young guy and uh, he was a horror writer he was one of the first ones that really got me interested in picking up the pen myself he wrote under the name John McClain uh, excuse me Jack McClain and um, I have two of his books I want to show off. Um, this one's uh, Blood Dreams, and it's an awesome, awesome read. I love it. I'll show you this other one. It's my favorite McLean book ever. No one really talks about it, and it's hard as hell to find. And I got it signed by him, you know, in person. So here it is. Good night, Moom. But right here. Let's see. And he signed it in 1987. It says, to TM West, and I hope you'll be the competition. I could never compete with you, though, Bill. Um, Jack McClain, 2487. Um, sadly, sadly, Bill died a while back. All right. So this one here, it's called Cry Wolf. And it is by Alan B. Uh, Chronister. If I were to pick a series and say, man, 80s paperback from hell style, nothing better. Nothing better. It would be Clive Barker's Books of Blood. I know pretty much every word of every story in this whole series. I could probably sit here and recite it. I've read these over and over and over again and can sit down and read them all right now, you know, if I had the time. Uh, this is Books of Blood, um, Volume 1. I love these covers, too, man. Another uh, sick cover there. And every single tale that Barker wrote in these books can be an education if you're a horror author. Now, as far as, you know, what I would like to get, there are a few um, on, my, uh, on my list that I would uh, like to own. The Voice of the Clown, one I'd love to own. Um, and Paperbacks from Hell did a, did a reprint of it, but man, I want that original, that original bad boy. It is Stage Fright by Garrett Boatman. Another one I'd love to add my collection is Hindsight by Ronald Kelly. Again, get your hands on the nonfiction award-winning book, Paperbacks from Hell. You'll thank me later. You'll just sit there and just, just devour that book in one sitting. It'll be a great item to take with you when you go to those used bookstores. And you're just like, hmm, ooh, look. Yeah, I've been looking for that. That's it for now. If you excuse me, I'm going to try to crack this open and, and, uh, and see what we have uh, between the covers. Until next time, remember, horror collectibles can be a scary business.